Opposing discourse markers. So, so there are things that are the opposite, yes? The car is ugly. Ugly is the opposite of stylish. So, the horse is stylish is a different statement completely from the car is ugly. But we want to link these opposite adjectives. We want to link this opposite adjective describing the car with the opposite adjective describing the horse. And to do that, we can use whereas or while. Whereas and while work the same. We don't need a comma either, because clearly while is independent of the car being ugly, right? The car is fast, comma. On the other hand, the horse is slow. Why do we use a comma here? We use a comma because we don't use a comma. Then it looks like this preposition is part of the sentence, the car is fast. The car is fast on the other hand. Well, if I used my right hand, the car is slow. If I use my left hand, the car is fast. No, that's why we use the comma. The car is fast. On the other hand, discourse marker, showing an opposite point, the horse is slow. And we also use that in contrast. In contrast, the car is fast, comma, in contrast. If we don't use the comma, the car is fast in contrast? No, the car is fast, discourse marker to an opposing point, the horse is slow. All right, so when we're talking about balancing opposing points with discourse markers, we must remember that with whereas while, no comma necessary because these are clearly opposing discourse point markers. These words themselves can be nothing else. They are independent of anything else. They are discourse markers. The car is ugly while the horse is stylish. But if we use in contrast, we don't want this preposition in to be confused as part of the statement, the car is ugly. So we put a comma. I hope you enjoyed this lecture on balancing opposing points, discourse markers. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up. Bye.